Continuing with exercise two, in this exercise, you will learn how to attach the existing 3D train model file into a 2D design file. Then you'll learn how to set the train as active, define 2D and 3D views, and how to display the train model when it is referenced into a 2D file using override symbology. We're going to start this exercise by creating a new 2D design file. We'll go to the Backstage view by selecting the File command, and then select the New command. And on this dialog box, down at the bottom, we want to make sure that the seed file is set to the seed 2 d imperial trainingdgn file. And this should come up by default based on the workspace and work set that we have selected. In the file name, you want to key in display underbar terrain dot dgn and then select save. Our new design file is created and if you do a fit view you'll see that there are no elements found. What we want to do now is attach the train model as a reference file. So we'll go to the home tab, the primary category, the attach tools group, and select references. From the References dialog, we want to select the Attach command, and you can either select the Attach Reference icon or select Tools Attach. And from the Attach Reference dialog box, we want to select the Train Existing DGN file. The Attachment mode, we want to set to Coincident World, and then we click Open. You can close the Reference file dialog box. Click Fit View, and you'll now see the boundary of the train model. So instead of being directly in the train model as we were in Exercise 1, we're now viewing the train model as a reference file from the 2D design file. Next, we want to set the active train model. We'll do this by selecting the Element Selection tool, left clicking on the boundary of the train model and hovering over the boundary until the context sensitive toolbar appears. From here we want to select the second command, the set as active train model. Left clicking on that will set the train active. And in doing so, that will instruct the software to use that train model as the default terrain when using other design tools and you can always change or clear the active train model. Also, when you set the train model active, the software will automatically create a 3D model inside of your 2D design file. And we'll take a closer look at this later in the exercise. Next, we want to reconfigure our view so we can look at both the 2D view and the 3D model that's been created and referenced into our file. We'll do that by right-clicking in the view, holding it down until this view menu appears. Well, let me do that again. The view control, and you want to slide over, and these views have been predefined for us in the workspace and work set. And we want to select this one that says two views, plan, and 3D. Notice that the views changed, and you now have two view windows open. View 1 on the left is the 2D model view that we started with, and View 2 on the right is the 3D model view that was automatically created when we set the train model active. And you'll notice in the top of the view window, it says Default 3D. That's indicating that this is the default 3D view. Okay, now let's review the models that are in this design file. On the Home tab, in the Primary category, we want to select the Models tool and this will bring up the models dialog. Now you want to note that models can be 2D or 3D and it's important to realize that even though we started with a 2D design file it is possible to have a 3D model available in the same design file. And if you'll note here we have the default model which is from our 2D view and corresponds with view 1 default and the default 3D model 
corresponds with view 2 that we have set up called default 3D. So in this one design file, we have the two models, the default 2D view, which is the master model, and the default 3D view that was automatically created when we set the terrain model active. All right, let's close the models dialog box. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.